Hi, MC Blang Daddy here, and this is just a short video to introduce you to how you can use a text file to start up Minecraft and enter commands from the text file rather than having to enter them manually. So let's go take a look at the files that we need to do this. So let's stop our server here and the first file that we're going to look at is a file that actually starts up Java and then executes the jar which contains the server and then once that's started up the second set of commands here are actually commands for uh, Minecraft rather than for Windows and what happens is this all gets started up in a command window and um, executed um, by Windows to start off with and then Minecraft takes the rest of it as input and executes the commands that are there. So let's take a look at the file that actually does this that starts up um, Java and so on and what it does is um, it basically takes the text that's in the text file and puts it through what's called a pipe into a second command window, a second Windows window um, that takes Windows commands and that will then take the uh, commands or rather I should say once Minecraft is started up will take the commands that are in the rest of the file. So let's take a look then what happens when we start this batch file. It's a .bat file that basically uses the first file that we looked at, which is a text file. And if we double click on that, you can see that we are starting here Minecraft. Um, and then we will find out that there are a number of commands that Minecraft has used and it starts up, I mean it um, inserts some blocks into the world and we can take a look at them since of course this is a server and we have Minecraft um, already set up to go and we will join the server there and as you can see there are some blocks that have been placed. These are a special set of blocks, at least to me, because they actually um, are used as a two-directional flyer. And we start it up and we start flying out over the ocean. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching.